Well, hello and welcome people to internet back to some more Dark Samurai. Today we're going to be checking out the other two characters that we didn't check out in the first video. So one other thing that I wanted to update you guys on before we actually jump in. So there were a lot of things that I was kind of commenting on that, uh, you know, we're in kind of like the, the videos on, on Steam, the trailers, and in kind of the description of Steam that I was like, I I'm kind of missing out on. I'm not understanding some of these design choices. So I did a little bit of research. I went through the the Steam page updates. I went through the press kit because there were some videos there and there was a lot of features that I was seeing that weren't included in this game. Now, sometimes that can definitely be the thing. You know, developers have just a different build they're working on and they, they you know, they're not going to update a demo every time or anything like that. And so some of the features just, you know, you want to highlight them based on your build that you're working on, but then the demo just doesn't reflect that. However, in one of the updates uh, back in September, actually the end of September, they said that as they were upgrading and adding new weapons, apparently they broke a bunch of stuff. <laughs> So they ended up taking down the original demo and putting up this playtest version. So there are a lot less features than were originally included, but that's because they're fixing a lot of these features. So for the time being, yes, there is a lot of content that is kind of missing from what we would expect to see in this game based on what they're advertising, but that is coming soon. So we'll have to take another look when those kind of features come out. But for the time being, we can at least look at the other characters and see kind of how their kits work and what their play style is like. So just a little disclaimer there in case you guys were curious after the first video, because I know I was. And so that kind of made me feel a little bit better about some of the things that I, I didn't fully understand why they were happening the way, the way that they were. But uh, that's not to say all of the design choices are because of that. But for example, there is a permanent tree, it looks like, where you can kind of upgrade uh, your skills or maybe each character independently. It's called like an ast astral skill tree, I think they called it. Um, so yeah, there's, there's going to be some stuff here in the future. So, uh, let's see. So it looks like this character may not have her own individual skills. We'll see. I think I'm going to take the Katana Slash. We'll see here though. Her claws are kind of not killing enemies as much as I would like them to, but we'll, we'll see. I'm going to try and focus a little bit more on damage today. I think in the last video, I just, I was focused more on like getting more hits. She's a fan of arrows. Now let's just go for damage. I want I want to see before I fill her up with a bunch of skills. I want to see if she has any individual skills of her own. Kind of like the electric character that we played uh, in the last video where he had a couple unique skills and then, you know, he had some some kind of more generic skills, but I'm hoping she has like some cool claw skills. That would be sweet. But then again, she may be one of the characters where, you know, they added some and it broke and so they had to get rid of them. So I don't know. We, we we shall see. Yeah, it's looking kind of like that. I did like the Yumi Volley, though. Um, do you want to do the Shuriken Ring? Maybe we're just going, like, full-on close range. I feel like that's probably not the way to go, though. Maybe I should just add Katana. Let's just get, try take Katana Slash. Let's go for more Slashes. Maybe eventually we'll pick up the Volley. We'll probably pick up some way to do kind of damage to, to enemies at a distance. So that way, once they get up close, we have just a like a flurry of melee attacks and we can kill them pretty quickly. You know what? I'm going to turn... I had turned these down a little bit last time. I'm going to kind of split the difference here. Turn it back up a little bit. It was feeling a little bit too empty. Okay, so grenade I didn't like. I think we could take shuriken fan. We haven't tried that yet, so let's give that a shot. Maybe we can add more and we can have it be like a complete circle around us and kind of be like the uh, the lightning ore that we had last time, which seemed pretty good up until the end. So let's pick up range, let's pick up range. Kind of up until the end, orbits around the character. Do I want that? Sure, let's take that. It was really up until the end where I just didn't have the damage to, to do anything. So I'm going to have to focus a little bit more on, on damage this time. Oh, oh god. Yep, 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 yep. That was a little bit tougher. Okay, so I'm going to take the volley here now. 
again just to kind of like soften up enemies before they get into our into our melee range and then we can start taking them out pretty quickly Hmm, okay, so what do you have? We have another volley, we have more damage, attack damage plus five, projectile speed. See, I think, even though I like the attack damage, I think I do just want to have more volleys. Again, I want to kind of soften up enemies before they get close to me. But I also have to not go back on what I was saying and <laughs> not lose out on the damage. Okay, adds another swipe, fires one more projectile, passes through two more enemies. All kind of good. I think I'm going to take the claw swipe, though. Again, especially, I think, if I can get the damage up pretty high, then we might be able to kill enemies as they get close to us. Although, I might want to get some attack speed for that as well. There's just a whole bunch of stuff that I want. I want it all. I want it all. Okay, let's go ahead and clear out this elite here. Attack range, fires one more projectile, pass through two more enemies. Um, I think, okay, so I think I wanna focus on my melee attacks this time. Cause like our our samurai run was pretty much just all ranged attacks, which was really, which was kind of weird. Ooh, damage plus nine as an, oh, but there's another attack volley. No, I'm going to take the damage. I don't want to get too sucked into just all, like, modifiers. Still want to make sure that I can kill things. You know, because like I said, from the last video, I thought just increasing, I was thinking just like, oh, we'll just increase the numbers, we'll hit everything, and then they'll all die. But, attack damage adds, okay, so I do want to add more projectiles to my fan, though. I feel like that's going to be pretty important. Oh, wait, 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 that is not what I thought it was going to do. I thought it was going to spread out, like, it was going to give us five projectiles as opposed to four. But, yeah, you know, in the last video, we were hitting a bunch of stuff, sure. <laughs> we just weren't killing it, so getting that damage up is going to be pretty important for this run, I think. But I think as long as as long as oh, what do we want here? Fires one more projectile, or let's take attack damage. I forgot what our time was. I think it was like 15, 15 and change. If I can make it to sixteen at least, I'll consider that a win. You know, all we got to do, we just got to improve from last time. You know, every, every time doesn't have to be a win. Every, you don't, it's not like if you lose, well, okay, it is kind of if you lose, you lose, but <laughs> I, a lose does not mean a failure, right? I think there's a lot of people who look at losses as failures. If you improve, well, then it's still improvement. Hmm, damage plus nine, pass through two more enemies. Let's take more damage in our claws. We haven't seen any like attack speed or like attack radius on our claws though. That I feel would be helpful. Maybe not attack radius. I probably wouldn't focus on that, but attack speed I would definitely go for. Another red star, which we don't know what it does. I'm going to be honest, what I thought it did, I was trying to use some context clues to try and figure out what it was doing. I thought it might spawn an extra elite and like a one of those like barrier circles of enemies around us, but it didn't do it this time. So I'm back to not knowing what it does. Hmm. 
back to not knowing. No, I, I just have never have never known what it does. And just in case, I'm gonna put this out there. Just in case, uh, I'm recording this literally right after I recorded the first one. So if you guys like commented and told me what was going on in the first one, you know maybe I'm missing something on the screen, and you guys are like, "This is what's actually happening." Well, I, I can't go forward in time to read your comments, so it is what it is. Ooh, we hit the gong, which did something, maybe possible that it did nothing actually now that we know kind of what's going on with the game oh magnet there we go nice let's go for okay so I want some more attack range add another volley yeah let's add more volleys Attack, damage, fire. Okay, I want more projectiles on my on my ring. If that was it. I only got two levels. Man, I haven't been killing that, that much. Attack duration. Fires more projectiles or damage. Let's go more claw damage. Ooh, these blue wispy boys are kind of fast. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, looks like we got two elite boys on us. Maybe even three. That like demon skull with the with the tag on him might actually be an elite. Ooh, more damage, more pickup range. Okay. Yeah, this guy right here, he might be an elite. He's he's taking a little bit of time to go down. I suppose if he if he drops a, an upgrade. We'll get to confirm. Ooh, there we go. Range plus 50. Oh, maybe he wasn't. Maybe he was just a, a tough regular enemy. Yes, yeah, so the, the volleys right now are a little underwhelming. Until I can get some radius on them. Right now, they're not hitting a very large area. Okay, I'm gonna have to sneak through here. Gonna have to find me some food. Some scrum diddlyums. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, now let's kind of work our way back. See if we can pick up the experience from anything that we killed, if we killed anything. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's focus. Come on, kill the elite. Kill the elite. Get him down, get him down, get him down. Drop some attack. What is that? Move speed? Eh. I wanted, I wanted the attack damage. Attack radius. Okay, I will take that. Uh, okay, we're kind of stuck here. Oh boy, we're stuck on the bridge. Can we kill something? There we go. Sneak through. Nice. Nice. I don't even think I need the coins. I think I've purchased everything that's available, maybe? Nice, we like the magnets. Attack damage, attack damage, projectile speed. Proje I think I'm gonna take the speed on our ring. Is that is that silly? Is that silly to do? They are kind of slow. Well, if it is silly, I already did it. 
Don't judge me. Fires one more projectile. Attack damage, projectile speed. I think we're just going to take attack damage on my katana. Ooh, attack radius. Although, adds another swipe to each attack, but... I want to take the attack radius, so that way I can start focusing on, like, getting that damage up. If the attack radius isn't up, then I don't really... Yeah, see, like, that's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. I want to hit a bunch of enemies, just soften them all up. Adds another volley. Okay. Man, the waves like this, though, are a little scary. There's so many enemies. Okay, can I make my way? Okay, hang on. We're going to have to come back to that. We're going to have to come back to that. Uh, okay, I don't want to go that way because then I'm going to get stuck in the trees. Oh my god, these waves are so <laughs> massive. Adds another swipe. Okay, we'll take the extra swipe. Okay, perfect. This is nice and clear. Um, Pat, um, <laughs> Do I want passes through more enemies? It softens enemies up more. Some more food, awesome. So I wonder if, if food is flat heal or percentage. I think it would be helpful if I had a number for health instead of just a bar. I mean, you could you could easily put the number in the bar of how much health we actually have. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh nice, we picked up some food in there. Oh, we got more food? Okay, let's sit here just for a second, just kill some of these enemies. Well, we got a way out. Until they start sneaking up behind us like pricks. Okay, I'm kind of... This is not a great area to be in. Alright, yeah, 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 Let's make our way out to the open. Great. Attack damage. Attack damage projectile speed. Pass through more enemies. I don't... Okay, so this is off the table. The question is, do I go with more uh, projectile speed and attack damage? Or I think I'm going to go... Well, so this attack damage, I'm assuming, gives each shuriken five damage. And if that's the case, we're shooting out eight. So this is technically plus 40. So let's do that. Technically, right? It Obviously, some are not hitting enemies. But if they are, it seems like that math would be accurate. Ooh, bunch of experience. Okay, nice, 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 nice. We'll grab all this. Let's go for more, more rings. Okay, getting a bit too surrounded. Okay, can we make our way up through here? Okay, we somehow took no damage there. What do you have? 14, 14 and a half. Okay, 14 and a half. Doing okay. However, I feel like we're just gonna we're just gonna run into just a massive wave of enemies. Attack damage plus 15. Yes, that's what we want to get. Yeah, see, like right, like right here, right now, it's actually really okay. It was actually really tough to see what was going on there, with the red enemies on a red floor. That was not helpful at all. OK, 
Okay, so I need some food here pretty badly. Otherwise, I am going to die. Oh god, let me through, let me through! Okay, we got a little bit of food there. Okay, run this way. Where's the food? Where's the food? Where's the food? Where's the food? Oh god, I okay, I trapped myself. I trapped myself. That was my fault. I well, I didn't I didn't know the map was gonna do that, but Alright. Well, that's the claw character. Uh right now it looks like she's old her only unique attack is that. So I'm assuming that this character is probably going to be similar to the samurai that we played. We'll get a little bit more armor here, and I think that's it. I think that unlocks everything in the game so far. Oh, except for this. Okay, so what is this? Shuriken Glaives can drop for all care. Oh, well, wait, Shuriken Glaives? Oh, we didn't even see that on her. Okay, interesting. So let's see if we can grab it on this character. Yeah, okay, so her starting ability is the is the piercing arrow, right? And we had that, yeah, Shuriken bounces. Interesting. Well, I guess that kind of is the same thing as the grenade, right? We couldn't get the grenade before, but we had to unlock this for all character, all characters. Oh wow, that is mighty slow. Okay, well that at least does a little bit of kind of like AoE, but it goes pretty far. It also shoots pretty fast. Orbits around the character. No, we don't want that. Hurls a bolt of lightning. Ooh, or adds another shot to each attack. Do I, do I just want to pick up this chain lightning? I think I do. Let's just pick up the chain lightning. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a super mixed character. Yeah, I'm almost wondering if the the feature that is this bonfire, I, I wonder if the feature has just been removed. Like the ring is still there, but it just doesn't do anything in this playtest. Okay. So I tried this kind of in between recordings. This ability is awful. I, I just, I can't stand. Now to be fair, it is not, uh, it, it's not just this skill in this game. I don't like any skills that do this. Uh, we're definitely gonna take the volley though. I really like the volley. Maybe, maybe it's really not that good and I'm kind of like telling myself that it's good. But I feel like it's strong. If we can get that radius up, I feel like it just hits so many enemies. I guess the downside is it's not targeting enemies, but to be fair, I can't target anything anyway. We're mostly, we're mostly, I mean, we're just kind of targeting the enemies that are closest to us. That's two links to each chain as another shot. I'm going to take the two links. As I was reading, it's either, yeah, so Chain Lightning, if it doesn't kill them, it does stun them. But it doesn't say that anywhere in the actual tooltip. But I was reading through the updates, and that is definitely one of the updates. And I've, and I've noticed just looking at some of these enemies, like, if they don't die, they do stop moving. Okay, so here here is the question. Here is a question. My instinct, based on what I've experienced 
is that the, the Yumi shot is the better choice here. And I think that's what I'm going to go with. However, I went and found the press kit for this game. And there is some video of the devs playing. And they were talking about the grenade. And the grenade apparently scales really well. But based on my experience, I just don't think it does. So I'm going to take this. I could be completely wrong about this. But I did just want to mention that. Um, there is... So the press kit, it, just in case you guys want to see that video of it's like an older version of the game but probably is the version before stuff got uh pulled out and changed um if you go to the steam page and then you go visit the website then at the bottom of their website for this game there's a press kit that's available it's a it's a google doc or not google doc but google drive uh folder there's a couple videos there of the devs playing that are not available on the steam page so just in case you guys are curious that's how you can find that But I'm taking the Yumi shot here because I just want a couple more. I want another ability that can hit enemies that are closest to me as opposed to the bombs that's going to like throw it out into the crowd, basically. And here, I'm going to take the attack damage. I don't really care about duration on the, the volley yet because, you know, we're only hitting a small portion of the map pretty far away from me. But like once I get, you know, if I get a couple radius boosts, basically I, for the volley, I want like two radius boosts and I want to get to at least three volleys and then I start worrying about like you know damage and stuff like that so yeah I'm gonna take the attack radius here again I, I could be wrong and I'm kind of maybe I'm just literally doing uh, not that I am insane but literally the definition of insanity is like doing something what is it doing something over and over again expecting the same result or expecting a different result Bounces around three more enemies. I'm going to take another flurry. That's another volley. We'll take that. So I do want to point out we did make it to 16 minutes. We were just o we were only just over 16 minutes though. Next goal is 16 and a half. That's another volley. Okay. Now, luckily we have not gotten this bug while I'm recording, <laughs> but there was a bug that I want to mention just in case the devs are are watching this where it was in between recording these two videos that I was doing some stuff with the samurai and I was playing in single player and a uh, menu popped up that said waiting for other players and I couldn't progress. I think the game was waiting for other players to pick uh, pick skills and obviously I was playing in single player so it literally just sat there and I couldn't do anything. I had to close out of the game and restart. Attack radio. Oh, man. No, no, no. Okay. I, I gotta stop. Okay. I'm gonna take a little break from the attack race. We're gonna get some damage because otherwise I'm gonna get swarmed. I'm gonna die and be like, man, I should have gone for more damage. Bounce around. Projectile speed. No, I'm gonna take damage. I don't think I care that much about uh, projectile speed. Especially on the things that are specifically hitting enemies that are close to me. Duration adds another shot. Okay, I'll, I'll add another shot. Okay, let's see if we can't beat a couple of these enemies. Yeah, see, like, the, the, these, like, ghosty enemies are starting to get pretty tough. I mean, these guys have a ton of health. Okay, let's 
focus on clearing out this crew here. I guess we'll grab this. Maybe it does something, maybe it doesn't. Who knows? I grabbed it though. I think projectile speed will probably be relevant on the shuriken, right? Because then it can go between enemies at a faster rate. The arrows, though, I don't think I really care about projectile speed. Let's run three more attack damage. I think I'm going to take the attack damage. Yeah, man, these little guys... Oh, wait, we killed an elite? Uh, okay, let's not trap ourselves against the building, so maybe let's sneak up this way? It says fancy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Range attack damage, plus 20. Well, what can... Wait, okay, so the bonfire is temporary. So what does that mean? Hmm... Is it giving me a buff, maybe? Do we do add another shot? Maybe bounce, let's do bounce around more enemies. Yeah, I gotta get some speed on those, on these shurikens, they're so slow. Huh. So I think the enemies are definitely turning this off. Okay, but I don't know if that's relevant for, for anything at this point. Throws another shuriken. Okay, let's grab that. That could potentially do quite a bit of damage. But again, I want to get that speed up. We haven't seen anything about like projectile speed, though, for the shuriken, which is interesting. We Because like, we saw a lot of that with the, the ball lightning in the last episode. Okay, it's starting to ramp up a little bit. Although these guys die pretty quickly, though. I'm surprised that there's not a lot more of, like, these smaller enemies. Because, like, these ghosty enemies have just... Not these ones. Yeah, the ones with the face. They just have so much health. Whereas, like, these little guys are pretty easy to clear. And so... Like, most Bullet Heavens that I've played would have more, just like, the ways would be more of these guys and then few of the, the face spirits. I'm going to take more damage here. But I feel like there's just a lot of enemies that have a lot of health. But that could just be a feeling thing. Attack duration, attack damage, projectile speed. I don't think I care about the speed. I'm going to take the attack damage. Because, again, if it was attack speed, that would be different. Projectile speed, I don't think I really care about. Okay, now the problem with being in this village is I can. Kind of, there's a lot more buildings here that I can trap myself against. And I am my own worst enemy when it comes to that. Yeah, like right here. This is this is not good. Okay, so I need to get out of this area before I fight that elite because I'm going to get trapped by the trees. Uh, is this spot okay? This spot is fine. There's another shuriken. Okay. Okay. 
So I definitely want some attack damage on these shuriken, because they might actually be kind of our way to clear out enemies. at this point. I could definitely do with another magnet. There's some food. Okay. That's not a magnet, though. The game tends to hear me when I say it. We have to will it into existence. Everybody, give me your energy. We will will it into existence. Hey! Look at that. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate that. Let's go for... Okay, let's get some more attack damage. Yep, this is one of the waves that was that's troublesome. Let's go attack radius. Let's go bounces around three more enemies. I want damage. Um attack damage. Let's go attack speed. Yeah, so tutorial mode is also kind of uh, glitching out a little bit. As you can see there, some of the items there are popping up on the ground. Although some will, like, right, like the bosses are going to drop uh, upgrades that stay on the ground. But we were just seeing... So if you missed the first, the first episode, tutorial mode isn't really a tutorial. It's basically this right here. So if you don't have tutorial mode on, these will basically... You won't get the description. You'll just get the basically indicator right here on the ground and you have to walk over it. I personally really don't like uh, that version of picking up because like if they drop your upgrades right in the middle of the horde, like you just can't get your upgrade. So I would rather pause the game. It might be because the game is co-op, although hmm, I wonder how that works because before, like I said, oh, this is also like twitching out. <laughs> um, because, like I mentioned before, it said that it was waiting for mul for multiple players. So I think there might be... Because I was reading something where you have to, like, pick up a chest in order to get your upgrades. So I wonder if levels are maybe synced or something like that. Alright, we're doing kind of... We're doing okay clearing out the hordes. So I like to see that. Let's definitely, ooh, definitely go on attack damage on Chain Lightning. And let's do more attack damage here on our fan. Again, just try and keep up with the damage. Keeping up with the damage. I feel like so far this is the best run we've had as far as like skill upgrades. Huh. Okay, this is a, this is an interesting one. So I think I'm going to take the attack duration. I could see an argument for adding two chain links though. But we're at least doing enough damage. Uh, let's see. Pass through one more enemy. Adds another shot. I'm gonna do. Pa I'm gonna do some piercing here. We're at least getting to a point where we can kill things pretty consistently in front of us, so we can actually make some space to move. Which is something I felt like we struggled with in the last couple builds. I go taking my eyes off the screen for half a second and then I go and get surrounded 
projectile speed adds another shot to each attack. I think, am I going to take this? Because we do have piercing. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're starting we're starting to get to that point. We're starting to get to that point where it's the game starts getting quite a bit harder, it feels like. Okay, now I got the artificial wall here on my left, right? Because we can't go we can't go over the water. We got this thing, which I don't know what this is doing. So see, like, is it a coincidence that we have jellyfish wall right now? Or was that tied to me hitting the shrine? I don't know. Go to two more chain links. Grab the onigiri. Yeah, it's like this 14 and a half, 15 minute mark that the wave just gets like overwhelming. And every build we've done so far just gets overwhelmed at this point. I need a magnet. Oh god, and I'm stuck. And I'm dead. Okay, I guess we have enough armor to survive that. I mean, there's just any there's like no dead spots. There, there's nowhere where there's not enemies. <laughs> Yeah, I think those might be spawning elites, because as soon as I hit that, I saw a puff of smoke and then there's an elite. So maybe I should just stop doing that. Maybe that's what's screwing me up. Because this is absurd. <laughs> like, how am I supposed to fight through this? And I know, like, people are going to be like, because you're not picking up experience. Like, explain to me how I'm supposed to pick up the experience where I'm killing things when I'm completely surrounded. Don't touch that. We'll grab the food. Grab the food. Okay. Can we stabilize here? Can we get to a point where we can kind of stabilize? Um, that's another shot. That's two links. I guess I take the two links. I'm just not getting damage. Maybe, maybe we've passed over the threshold. Maybe we've passed over the threshold where, like, all the difficulty was. Like, the, the difficulty spike. Because there's definitely a lot less enemies right now than there was a minute ago. Maybe that's, like, one of the checks, right? Like, you, you hit a certain time and it's like, okay, this, like, this, is, this is the check. If you can get past this, 
then you get a little bit of a reprieve until maybe like a boss shows up. Yeah, I got the extra shot there because I figured maybe it would be better at like fighting elites and bosses because then we can just like hard target an enemy and shoot like four arrows into him at a time. Okay. See if we can't find... Oh boy, oh boy. Am I going to get myself stuck here? See if we can't get a little bit more food here. Because I'm, I'm wondering... It's either going to... I'm assuming it's going to be either a 20-minute a mark or a 30-minute mark. If there is a boss. Right? That's pretty consistently where it's been for these type of games. So I would like to be closer to full health if I can. we go nice full health well we definitely cleared that 16 and a half minute mark that i mentioned so worst case scenario that's at least a good thing Okay, so we hit 20 minutes, and it looks like maybe no boss, but there's definitely a bigger wave of enemies right now. And new enemies. I'm seeing crabs. Okay, that's a no bueno zone. Right now, I'm literally just trying to break everything. Find magnets, find food, find something. Because I can't just, like, be walking into the swarm trying to pick up all my experience. Oh, boy. Okay, those are trees. Can't go that way. So, I guess we're at the end of the trees. Uh, because we're starting to get gold. Okay. I don't have any indication of how many how many upgrades each each skill can get, though. Ooh, now we got lava monsters? Oh my god, these big black chunky boys are, uh... Yeah, they're, they're kind of tough to kill. They have a lot of health. Uh, what? They just don't die. <laughs> okay. Um... What? Okay, I have two theories. Either this is the game being like, hey, you're done. We're just going to slowly kill you now. And there's nothing we, you can do about it. Or I just have to survive a certain amount of time and they just like disappear. Because these things have massive health pools. Luckily, they're slow, though. So that that's the good thing. And they don't hit that hard, if at all. Okay, they, they hit. <laughs> they hit. Okay, guys, I, I, I know you've been trying, but I, I need you to give me your energy again. So that way we can find a magnet. Okay, it's been a little while. It's been a few minutes. I could use another one. So please provide to me your energy. And it would be very much appreciated.
I'm just not feeling it right now. So you guys could, uh, that whole energy thing, keep popping it up. Oh, wait, where did everybody come? That's something this game does where it just feels like all of a sudden it's like, where did everybody come from? <laughs> like there, there's like this big opening and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I'm surrounded. Like, I, I don't know where they came from. Okay, can I go this way? Can I go? Okay, I need some kind of barrier to tell me how far into the water I can actually go. Because otherwise it feels pretty bad if I just like walk in, run into a wall and it's like, oh, I didn't know I could go that far. Am I going to be able to get out of here? Okay, somehow we got out of there. And now we have new new enemies yet again. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, we got a little bit of food. We are surviving by the skin of our teeth. Okay, we finally got a level here. Unfortunately, we're not going to be getting very much stronger because it looks like there is a limit to things you can get. So I'm kind of capped out at this point. Which is too... Oh, man, there's food right... Okay. I basically took the damage to get that. Um, yeah, so... Which seems kind of weird, right? Because it's not like... It, it's, it's not like the abilities are... Unique in any way. It's literally just stats. If they were, if they were a little bit more unique... Oh, boy. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, did I trap myself? Did I trap myself? I think I might have. Okay, let's hold that thought for a second. Unfortunately, there's no food around me, and I think I am toast. Yep, there we go. Well, 20, 27 minutes. Not too bad. Um, so. So maybe it is 30 minutes. Um, yeah, so because it's just stat upgrades... Right, it, I'm trying to think of a game that would do something different than stat upgrades. Okay, so f for example, uh, in Death Must Die, there the limit for you is... Well, I guess I haven't played far and figured it out, so correct me if I'm wrong. But in Death Must Die, I think you can level up your skills... As far as you want, maybe? I, no, maybe that maybe that's not true. Basically, what I'm trying what I'm trying to get at 
is because it's not changing your skills, it's not like adding new things, like it's not adding new projectiles, even if it was, I'm surprised it just doesn't kind of like scale and it just stops you from leveling up more. Maybe because like, it, it's so it's one of those things with roguelites, right? Where when you play roguelites, there's always a question of, am I supposed to, like, could I complete the game on the first run, on the first run, or is the game balanced in a way that I need to get a bunch of upgrades in order to do so? So, for example, if I had all this extra damage, maybe that would be helpful. So that's like one of those things where it's like, maybe in this version of the game, you can get to the end. It just makes it incredibly difficult versus when more features come out, right? There's that whole star system where you can upgrade. It looks like maybe specific skills. Let me see if I can, uh, yeah. So it looks like, so if you're, if you're looking on the steam page, if you go to the update from June 20th, it's titled anime animated 3d character. There is an image. So it says the shop is gone. Instead of, we now have an astral skill tree where you can buy permanent upgrades, change your character and select your map. It works like a multiplayer. Well, so that's still what this is, but there's a different looking. It looks like there's a skill that I haven't seen in this game before. And there's two different branches two like linear branches that come off of it that maybe go to a different skill that you can unlock or something. There's also a different currency that looks like a, like a, a star, kind of like a, like a Pinocchio star, right? Glowing in the distance. So there's definitely some systems there that are, are not fully in, in implemented, which could definitely kind of change, you know, how, how the game gets played. Because at a certain point, it just felt like I, I in the run, like I just couldn't progress anymore. Now, again, there's going to be stuff, other stuff that's included, right? Quests, all the different things on the map. So the the shrines, the gongs, the bonfires have no idea what those are doing. They could have been doing detrimental things to me. They could have been doing positive things to me. But again, like we mentioned in the first video, it's just hard to know without being told what they're doing. And it's completely possible that... Oh, sorry. I was just reading the tooltip, which I shouldn't be doing while I'm talking. Uh, but it, it's completely possible that I lost my train of thought here. But anyway, so for example, there's something called a focus upgrade, which used to be in the game, which I don't know what that is anymore. Because I'm looking, it says uh, it's rebalancing Katana Slash and a bunch of stuff. So apparently that was there. Let's see, increased katana slash damage art uh, RNG, crit chance, attack range, burst attack, frequency, slash attack. Re so yeah, so like there's a ton of stats here that I that says they're being upgraded, but in this version of the game. Ah, oh, see, this would be important to tell me in demo patch 1491 increase gong boss i said gong bong increase gong boss hp so li limited lifetime of gong monsters yeah so i think that's why around that 16 minute mark because i think every time i've had like the 16 minute mark i've hit a gong and i think that's why it's gotten a lot tougher so yeah stuff like that i feel like needs to have some kind of description on it so that way we know kind of what's going on because most players if they just jump into your playtest are not going to go and read all your updates especially since this one was back from may 23rd um but again i think it's important to note that at least in one of their most recent updates they did say that you know some stuff broke we had to revert to kind of an uh, a more uh, feature light version of the game. So that's fair. That being said, I think some of the skills are, are actually kind of cool. I think this was my favorite character here. I do want to see a lot more sword skills for the samurai. The samurai just felt like a very similar archer character. And so I'm hoping that this character is going to have a bit more identity to it because like, if this is your title character, right? You, you gotta have some melee abilities for this character. Uh, same thing for this character. Just kind of felt like a general character just with a single claw attack. These two are incredibly similar. And so that kind of just, I think that's why this is my favorite character, because this is really the only character that is unique. Uh, these two characters are basically general characters and for the most part are kind of similar to this. So these three are kind of all the same. Um, so I, I hope there's a bit more 
I'm, I'm going to assume that this is going to be the trend and these three are kind of suffering right now just because of the the playtest version and how they had to revert some stuff. But we will have to double check back in when more features get added. For the time being, though, we at least got to see what all the characters do. We've at least unlocked, uh, yeah, we've unlocked every every piece of meta progression except for this one. Don't know what this one is yet, but everything else is unlocked. So it really only takes about two hours to clear it. And that is annoying. That has got to be changed. Like the, the walking on a space to without confirming it like that that's got to change that's just really annoying but other than that guys that's going to do it for dark samurai at least for a little bit until there's any more sizable upgrades or upgrades updates but uh what do you guys think of the game now that you've seen kind of assuming you watched the first video you've seen all the characters you've seen all the progression you've seen the maps and now we kind of understand what the gongs were doing i'm assuming the shrines are the same way so yeah hitting hitting multiple shrines and gongs probably not a good thing still don't know what the bronze fires were doing but uh, what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. And of course, if you did enjoy your time here, you liked the video, would you kindly smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more roguelite action. I've been Ganyans. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.